How did Tucker Carlson respond to the failure yesterday by Republicans to select a Speaker of the House? How did Sean Hannity react to that very same failure? Well, let's take a look. Tucker Carlson weighed in last night and his suggestion was McCarthy's not really conservative anyway, maybe suggesting he's not really the right guy for the job. Let's take a listen. McCarthy is not conservative enough to represent a party that's just taken back the House from Nancy Pelosi. And they are definitely right about that. McCarthy is not especially conservative. Hmm. He's in fact ideologically agnostic. He's flexible. His real constituency is the lobbying community in Washington. Now, Tucker Carlson is not wrong, but he also is wrong, as is often the case with people like Tucker Carlson. It's absolutely true that when I think of Kevin McCarthy, I don't think small government conservative who um, uh, cherishes and prioritizes and puts on a pedestal the values that we would think of 30 years ago of Republican conservatism. He's nothing like Reagan, for example. And believe me, I don't agree with any of those ideas, but he's not even in that mold. McCarthy is a scheming opportunist with delusions of grandeur and a sick addiction to being adjacent to power. That's what I think of when I think of McCarthy. And that's the way he operated during the Trump administration until it became untenable. Uh, and that's the way that he is operating now. So in that sense, Tucker is correct. On the other hand, it's also not really true that he is the epitome of the I'll just do whatever the lobbyists want me to do. I mean, to some degree, that's true. but in the sense that it's true of most of the members of Congress. He is a guy who saw an opportunity here to maybe slide in to be Speaker of the House. It may work at the end of the day, but it's going to depend on the direction of this group of 15 to 20 anti McCarthyites uh, in the Republican Party, which we will see. So to a little bit, Tucker is right, but he's also misstating the big picture of Kevin McCarthy, which is he's just thirsty for power and wants to be adjacent to whoever is most powerful at the time. That's what got him to sort of go with Trump for a while until he got caught making anti Trump comments. Then we go to Hannity. Hannity straight up says Republicans are about to make themselves a total clown show. Listen to this new year with the Fox News alert. It is day one of the 188th Congress and House Republicans now are on the verge of becoming a total clown show if they're not yep. careful. But despite the cheering and the elation from Democrats and the mob and the media, it's not a dire situation yet. Yeah. So Hannity isn't necessarily abandoning McCarthy, but he is sounding the alarm. And he's done this before, remember sounding the alarm that this might end up with Republicans looking really stupid or I guess more stupid than they already do. Hannity's instinct is protecting the image of the Republican Party. And you might remember that in the text messages that we uh, obtained uh, from Hannity in the immediate aftermath and as the Trump riots were going on, he recognized the way that it looked. He recognized how terrible, 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 terrible it looked for Republicans and for Trump. What was going on on January 6th? And he was texting, I think it was Meadows and maybe Kaylee Maganani and uh, some others. And he certainly had a more or less on this planet assessment of how terrible it looked. And aside from whether he likes Kevin McCarthy or not, and I think he's probably fine with McCarthy one, one way or the other, uh, he is saying this could end up making us look really, really bad. Let's see what happens today. By the time you listen to today's show, we may know who the speaker is or it may go another day, which would be truly incredible. We'll follow up. One of our sponsors today is Fume. Fume is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us, including ones that harm our health. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to trade out your negative habit for a positive one. Fume is not a vape. It's a non electronic device designed to transform your negative habits instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals like a vape. Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon for delicious natural flavors. Fume's new version two model is snappy and tactile with an adjustable airflow dial and a magnetic end cap that's fun to fidget with. 
It's Fume's goal to make switching easy or even enjoyable. They have thousands of five star reviews from people just like you who have successfully switched when other solutions didn't work. Head to tryfume.com and use the code Pacman to get 10% off today when you get the Journey Pack, which comes with three unique flavors and the new version to Fume. The link is down below.